hello my loves welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl kinesthetic with the kinesthetics and i'm here with you guys today with a new video the fall season is upon us okay and even though i am a spring baby Fall is definitely my favorite season. Everything about fall does it for me. The weather, the fashions, the colors, the drinks, the vibes, the ambiance. Like, I just love how warm and fuzzy the fall season makes us feel. So, I would have to say my favorite part of fall is the fashion, the colors, the textures, the patterns. Like, I am in love with fall fashion. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that every year before the fall season hits, I give you guys this video to let you guys know what is trending for the fall season. Okay, like what pieces are we gonna expect to see carried in stores? What pieces are we expecting to see on the runway? What pieces are we expecting to see that we want it as our wardrobe? <laughs> that is what I'm here to share with you guys in this video. So if you guys are interested in hearing about trends for the 2023 fall and autumn season, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below and join the family because we are doing big things over here, period. And I would hate for y'all to miss it. So make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy so YouTube can circulate this video across its platform. Do not forget to drop a comment down below after you finish watching this entire video after you watch the full thing comment let me know your thoughts opinions comments questions leave them down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so before we get into the video i did want to address today's look very quickly so my hair is in this top knot bun situation okay real sleek real cute i've been learning and i'm getting better my makeup i literally did it in like five minutes <laughs> So if you guys want a tutorial on this look, I can definitely give that to you guys. My earrings are coming from Urban Outfitters. I did purchase these earrings a few months ago, so I'm not sure if they're still available, but if they are, I will link down below in the description box. And this bodysuit is coming from Zara. I once again purchased this a while ago. So if it's still available, I'll put the link down below. But that is today's look. I really wanted to get full vibes, full, you know what I'm saying? Brown, glowy. Yeah, no vibes. So I have been paying attention to websites, paying attention to runway shows, paying attention to just items that I've been seeing time and time again that I know is going to be popping for the fall season. So let's go ahead and get into these fall fashion trends. As I always preface this video by saying, trends are not for everyone, okay? There are trends I'm going to mention in this video that I can't see myself wearing right now. The purpose of this video is just to bring awareness to trends that we can expect to see in the fall season. Some of them may resonate with your style, your wardrobe, your sense of fashion. Some of them may not. Don't ever feel pressured to buy into a trend. The way that I like to look at trends is, okay, does this align with my personal style? Does this align with my personal wardrobe versus I'm gonna get this just because it's trending? So I just wanted to preface this video by saying that and yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first trend we can expect to see this fall 2023 season are draped dresses and tops. Like when I tell you guys that I have been seeing time and time again that brands are putting their own twist on the drapage of a dress the drapage of a top i'm happy that we're slowly transitioning away from like the body conscious vibes or the body conscious era like it's cute it's cool but there's so much more that fashion has to offer than tight fitting clothing so i'm happy that we're seeing more like loose flowy pieces and trends coming about absolutely love that i have spotted some pieces that i have saved i will pop them up here i love drape pieces because they do a great job hiding things that we may not want people to see like body conscious is going to show everything okay everything the meal you just ate the drink you just had the smoke you just smoked like body con items are going to show everything with pieces that are more like draped and flowy i feel like a lot of us including myself okay because hmm <laughs> 
I do not need y'all seeing my pudge in every outfit. So with the drapery, I feel like we get away with a lot of that. Also, it's more loose and more comfortable. And if you guys know me, I'm always here for a comfy fashion. Next trend for the fall season are cargo bottoms, cargo pants, cargo shorts, cargo skirts, like cargo is in. Like I feel like cargo has been in since the spring season, summer, we continue to see more pieces, but fall, we're getting the cargo effect with the fall colors and I absolutely love it. Zara has been coming out with a ton of cargo skirts. So has Urban Outfitters. Babes, like cargo me down. And I absolutely love a cargo piece. But the thing with me and cargo pieces is that after I have a certain amount, like I feel like I'm at the max in my wardrobe right now. Maybe it's just me. I love a cargo piece, like I love a cargo denim, I love a cargo skirt, it's just so cute and I love, love, love when cargo pieces actually have like the volume of the pockets. A while ago I shared a YouTube shorts, I'll link it up above, of these men's Zara pants that I purchased and my favorite part about those pants is that the cargo aspect is actually like three dimensional, it's not flattened, like they actually put the 3d effect on it and i absolutely love that i feel like it gives more you know more hips more shape more character to a piece of clothing so i absolutely love that but we can definitely expect to see cargo time and time again this fall season the color red is in like everywhere you turn you're gonna see red this fall season. I'm telling you guys now. So I would say that staples for you to have in your wardrobe if you're into the trend of the red color is first of all, a red lippy. Like, <laughs> hello, hello. What is your makeup collection if you do not have a poppin' red lippy? So I actually did a video a while ago of my favorite red lipsticks. I will link that up above for your ease of reference. But I'm gonna tell you guys off the top of my head at this current moment, my favorite red lippy is Drum roll, please. Y'all should be able to guess if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, but yes, you are indeed correct. It is Boss Lady by The Lip Bar. First of all, The Lip Bar is a vegan black-owned brand, which is sold in Target, super affordable. The lippies are absolutely amazing, super lightweight, all of that, all of that, and all of that. But if you guys are looking to add a red lippy to your fall wardrobe, because wardrobe isn't just clothes, okay? Wardrobe is accessories, and yes, your lippy is an accessory check out boss lady from the lip bar and i definitely am interested in adding a nice quality red blazer to my wardrobe i saw that zara currently has like a cropped red blazer which i thought was cute but i feel like i wanted something more full length so that i can go ahead and mix and match it in more ways than i could with like a cropped blazer but red is in babes like we're gonna see red all over and i'm absolutely here for it because red to me is such a boss color like if i see somebody pull up in a red suit i know you're about business and i know you have a good sense of fashion next up are metallics and specifically gun metal metallics have been in since the spring season and they are continuing to find their way through through the fall season but specifically gun metal like i don't know what it is about gun metal but it's just so sexy to me gun metal with a red lippy the fall season is yours. So like, <laughs> you won. You're the winner. <laughs> Gunmetal is absolutely in. I saw that Skims has some gunmetal pieces. I also saw that Zara has like a whole gunmetal section in their stores. I love gunmetal. It's so sexy to me. I feel like gunmetal is a great way to incorporate metallic into your wardrobe if you're not really into like the pops of color of metallic. Gunmetal is more muted. It's more like of a neutral metallic, which I absolutely love because like the pinks, the blues, like they're cool for like a one-off situation. But babes, those gunmetal pieces, you can get your wears out of them. So I am definitely interested in adding at least two gunmetal pieces to my wardrobe for this fall season because it's just... It looks so good like asymmetrical cuts are definitely in when i tell you guys i have seen skirts i have seen dresses i have seen tops i have seen jackets with asymmetrical cuts and i absolutely love it once again this is a great way to add character to pieces without doing too much an asymmetrical cut babes 
so good i feel like it flatters everybody's shape it looks so good and if you are somebody who you know has trouble dressing doesn't really know how to mix and match pieces or add character or you know volume more a little splash of flavor to your outfit asymmetrical cuts are a great way to spice up your wardrobe without actually doing too much like those are the pieces that you need to focus on if you feel like you don't know how to dress i'm telling you guys like minimal things such as like the cuts of of a bottom the cut of a dress can add so much character to your outfit without putting in much effort so asymmetrical cuts are definitely in and i'm here for it so yes asymmetrical cuts are definitely in and i am here for it okay i'm here for urban outfitters urban outfitters first of all if you know me you know how i feel about urban outfitters but they went crazy with the asymmetrical cuts i'm telling you guys now run don't walk next up for the fall season you can expect to see a lot of like tailored or structured looks including blazers vests trousers i feel like the work wear look is definitely in i'm the type of girl where when i used to have to report to work i wasn't really a structured clothing type of girl okay i just never felt comfortable in structured clothing and i told you guys when it comes to clothing when it comes to life my vibes are always comfy so i'm just like i'm about to sit in this office for 8 9 10 11 12 hours sometimes in trousers that are suffocating my cool like Mm -mm. so it's interesting to see now that people are voluntarily wearing like workwear structured clothing tailored clothing maybe i just haven't came across the right pieces yet but maybe i could do like a slouchy trouser look maybe we'll see but i'm not really a fan of workwear like i'm not i'm not i'm not the most you'll see me in in my free time like voluntarily is a blazer so i'm not sure how i feel about this trend but i feel like the girls are killing it specifically with like the loose fit of it i absolutely love something about it just gives like a nice sexy clean look but as far as for me i don't know if i could do it. i don't know the next trend that we can expect to see a lot of this fall 2023 season is like the dark academia goth look definitely in like the grungy like chokers y'all know what i'm talking about like the dark the dark the blacks the the dark grays the <laughs> i definitely in so with this trend i feel like it gives me like platform doc martens like doc martin has this boot called the jade on boot i'll put it here so you guys can see i actually have this boot in like a dark brown color but that is the vibe it gives me like silver accessories dangly earrings chokers like mullet hairstyles motor jackets with like a asymmetrical cut black skirt tights with like the side like that vibe is definitely in for the fall season and i kind of like it like i like it if it's done right i like it if it's done right, I like it. So I definitely plan on putting my spin on this for the fall season. I haven't posted a picture on Instagram, like got dressed up and took pictures in so long. Maybe that'll change on this trip that I'm on at the time this video is uploaded. But I've just really been going with vibes and just dressing up and not sharing it with you guys. So for the fall season, I definitely want to, you know, get back more into sharing my looks with you guys because so many times I wear things, I'm like, I didn't even share with them. But it's coming so stay tuned but i definitely can see myself putting a spin on this dark academia situation giving it a little splash of kinesthetic and you know y'all will see y'all will see i'm happy that we are transitioning away from the mini skirts over to the maxi skirt maxi skirts are definitely a trend that we can expect to see a lot of in the fall season mini skirts are cute but to me they're not really functional like as soon as i make two moves the cooch is out as soon as i make three moves the booty cheeks are out like i just can't i don't know what it is but i'm like mini skirts i can't really do them the maxi skirts oh the girls have been eating it up okay specifically the maxi denim skirts the maxi denim skirts fire so you can definitely expect to see people rocking more full length items specifically when it comes to skirts and i love it i love a denim maxi skirt that has a slit in it 
where it gives like conservative but then it has a slit so it gives it a little splash of sex you know what i'm saying but h&m has definitely been coming with some fire denim skirts and once again urban outfitters <laughs> Urban Outfitters. This is not sponsored by Urban Outfitters. If y'all want to work, we could work. But I have been loving me some Urban Outfitters. If you guys been watching my vlogs, y'all know. The next trend we can expect to see for the fall season is like art on clothing. Like painted portraits on clothing. But like painted portraits on a skirt or painted portraits on like a sweater. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's a great way to add color to dark pieces as well. Jaded London has this skirt. I'll see if I can find it and put it on the screen. I ran into it in Urban Outfitters the other day. Probably like my fifth time saying it. Take a shot every time I say Urban Outfitters in this video. <laughs> but it's this black skirt and it has like this orange and pink rose artwork on it. Fire. So I say all of that to say I am here for the trend of artwork on fashion pieces. I love it. I feel like it's a great way to add color. It's a great way to add, once again, character and flavor to a piece and more specifically an outfit. So yes, I absolutely am here for the Mona Lisa's on the PCE-shes. <laughs> jorts, 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 J-O-R-T-S, jorts. <laughs> Jorts are trending for the fall season and you may be like, gee, Kendra, what is a jort? Like, what are you even saying? Are you smack? No, I'm not. <laughs> Jorts are jeans shorts and more specifically, jean Bermuda shorts, like denim Bermuda shorts. So if you know me, if you guys have been watching these videos, years over year, over year, 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 I'm not a Bermuda shorts type of girl. I just feel like it's an awkward length. I'm not sure if it's because of my height. I'm not sure if it's because of my stature. I'm not sure if it's because of my builds, but I'm not a fan of Bermuda shorts. I feel like it either has to be a poom poom or a full length. Don't give me, like, I just can't get with the Bermuda shorts. So. I say all of that to say that this is probably not a trend that I will specifically feed into because I still stand. I don't know how I feel about a Bermuda shorts. Bermuda shorts are not for me and I am not for Bermuda shorts and that's absolutely fine. But the girls have been eating up the jorts. I am a thrift girl. If you guys know me, you know I am always in the value of the village here in Houston, Texas. And I have came across so many jorts men's section woman section like if you are into bermuda shorts look into denim bermuda shorts because they are definitely trending for the fall season and i love me a good denim piece though because i feel like you'll be able to mix and match it with so many different things specifically if you find it in the men's section and it gives like a loose fit it could be a tee but for me i don't know if i could do it the last trend that i want to speak about that we can expect to see this fall 2023 season are roses 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 i don't know what it is it's like a romance renaissance type of vibe but i have came across so many accessories as well as clothing items that have roses on them meshki has this fire fire bando top situation so cute i think it's like a hundred dollars so i'm waiting for them to have a sale girl if it's still here for black friday i'll feed into it if not i don't have another i have a hundred dollars for them right now but Roses are definitely in. I recently purchased a rose like choker necklace situation. I think that is so sexy. Like that accessory alone, you can do so many different things with. I showed you guys the necklace in my last weekly vlog. So if y'all didn't watch that, make sure you guys go back and check it out. But you can also like, you know, remix the choker, put it in your hair, put it on your wrist. You can do so many different things. And I feel like brands are also mixing some of these trends. So I've been seeing a lot of asymmetrical drapery looks that have like the roses on them the girls have been eating that look up for vacation and i am absolutely here for it but yes yeah, so we can expect to see a lot of roses this fall season and i am here for that trend so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys got some inspiration as far as getting a head start on your fall 2023 wardrobe i hope this video showed you guys like okay this is what's trending okay this aligns with my fashions my wardrobe my style 
or it doesn't and that's absolutely fine you could have watched this whole video and you're like i'm not into anything in this video i'm gonna just pass and i'm gonna just you know do what i have and that's absolutely fine as well i just like to do these videos to educate you guys on what is trending at the moment so i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below and let me know if you guys currently are into any of these trends if you currently have them in your wardrobe or if you plan to shop for them comment down below and let your girl know i do have some fall hauls coming for you guys very soon which you guys will see some pieces that correspond with some of the trends that we discussed in today's video so make sure you guys stay tuned and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss those videos when they go up i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did give this video a big thumbs up drop that comment down below don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel period and until my next video i'll see you guys later Say what I wanna hear, cause you know it's gonna get me here. Every time I say that I'm